you know is more important than what you know. That's one reason why some engage in politics to secure lucrative contracts. It's time to know the most important person in the universe, the Holy Ghost. Whatever God has for you, your marriage, healing, salvation, finances will be channeled through him. In this best-selling book, Kakwa Baden will teach you practically how to develop your relationship with the Holy Ghost. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Holy Ghost in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an e-book on Amazon, Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra begins an energizing message on the subject of leadership titled The Art of Leadership. The subtitle for today is The Leadership of a Child. Let's join in. Today, I want to show on the leadership of a child. Just on the leadership of a child. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 1 is a key scripture. Behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, that take away from Jerusalem and Judah the stay and the staff. Now the stay means the support. And the staff is a symbol of leadership because kings use staffs. So it says, God is going to take away the stay, the support, and the staff. In other words, when he takes away leadership, he will take away any other thing that supports people, like food. He will take it away. Poor leadership will result in no food in the house. Then it says, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. Food will not be there. So, for example, if you have a father who is not a good leader, he may not be able to provide food for you to eat. If you are in a country where we don't have a good leader, water may never come to your house. Never. The reason is that the staff, which is the symbol of leadership, has been taken away. Then it goes on to describe various leaders that will be taken away. Verse 2. The mighty man and the man of war. The judge, the prophet, the prudent, and the ancient. Then it says that the man of war, people who can lead even in the military, it will be taken away. The judge, then he says, when it comes to legal affairs, the leaders also will be taken away. And the prophet, then he says, pastors also, who are also spiritual leaders, will be taken away. So what it means is that in this land, every form of leadership is being removed. Amen. The prudent man, people who are very wise, he said they'll also be taken away. The ancient people with experience will all be taken away. You to just be left with babies with sharp teeth. All the experience will be taken away. Next verse. The captain of 50. This is also in the military. They will take it away. The honorable man. Honorable MPs. They will be taken away. The counselor. People who give wise advice. All these leaders will be taken away. The cunning artificer, that is, people who invent wild things like phones, iPads, they'll also be taken away. The eloquent orator, people who are poets, literature, they write books, they'll all be taken away. There's no drama in the land. So if all forms of good leadership is taken away, what will be left? Children. <laughs> People that have been taken away. I will give children to be their princes. Verse 4 says, Babies with sharp teeth will rule over them. So here the Bible says that there is a certain form of leadership. It is called the leadership 
of a child. So right now, the leaders are children. My brother told me he went to Brazil. He went for a meeting. He met a guy. The guy is 15 years old. He was holding an AK-47. And he was trying to witness to the guy. The guy sells drugs. He was telling the guy that, listen, these drugs and things you are doing, you should stop. And the guy told me he can't stop because he has responsibilities. So he asked him, how many responsibilities? What responsibilities do you have? He said, I have four children. The guy is 15 years old. <laughs> so this is a child who is also the head of a house. So a child training children. Then God said that, listen, all these types, they represent different forms of leadership. Then he says, but if you remove them, he said, there is another leadership. I will give children, they will be the princes. Babies shall rule over them. Hallelujah. The leadership of a child. Thanks for joining us. Be sure not to miss tomorrow's episode as Kakwa shares what the leadership of a child means. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My mom is healed. Dear Kakwa, I sent you a message about my mother's sickness and you replied that you had prayed for her. God has been good. She was discharged yesterday and is now well and can walk. Thanks be to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at kakrabadian.org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.